This week on Your Town Tuesday, we are in St. Stephen, getting ready to celebrate the town's centennial celebration. It all started when the earliest Slovenian settlers moved to the area, and after getting their homesteads off the ground... Eventually they got to the point where they wanted a church, so they organized the establishment of the church here. Father Robert Harn has been with the St. Stephen Parish for 12 years. The church was established in 1871, and the church that still stands today was built in 1903. St. Stephen Parish acted as a community meeting place as well as the church. As the community grew uh, primarily around the church at that point, uh, the uh, activities were sponsored by the church. The hall was a kind of a community center. The church is still a center point in the town today. Quite a few visitors come here from Slovenia, including the various ambassadors and the current ambassador will be here for the city centennial. There are still many ties to the Slovenians that settled into this area. One of those ties is Jim Schumer, who still lives on the land that his great grandfather originally settled. He came up with uh, two, his wife and two children and they built uh, a one room log house up here. Over the years, the farmers passed down from father to son until it reached Schumer. He and his wife are up at five in the morning, milking cows by 5.30, doing chores throughout the day. And after a short break for dinner and supper, they are back milking and doing chores until 10 at night. But it is where this dairy farm is located that makes it unique. 1982, he started milking. And at that time, there was seven other operating dairy farms in the city. In order to have enough people to become a village, the people back then had to include many farms around the area. This caused many dairy farms to be located inside the city limits of St. Stephen. This was a very farming community, so they, the lines aren't, aren't straight around, and they have to go a long ways from the church to get enough people. With Schumer being a fourth-generation farmer and the family being on the land for 150 years, he and his wife say that they are happy to be milking and that they hope the farm remains in the family name. That brings us to present day St. Stephen, a small community where children still need a ride to school. That job falls to Trobeck's bus service and for 45 years of Trobeck's 76 year history, Patty Schuneman has been transporting the children of St. Stephen back and forth to school. Good. I met some many nice, very nice people, you know, parents and children, you know, on the bus. In Schuneman's 45 years of driving school bus, she has never had an accident. Her accident-free driving record prompted a Transportation Specialist Award from the Minnesota School Bus Operators Association. Trobeck's Director of Sales and Marketing, Bethany Schubert, says Schuneman deserved the award and she will be greatly missed. She is the type of person that when she comes to work, she always has a smile on her face. Schuneman says it's been a great career with plenty of good memories. Well, at Christmas, Easter, I always got little gifts from uh, the children, and uh, this one little girl, she didn't have anything to give me, so she came up and she said, I have this uh, sugar cookie for you, Patty. It was a big uh, sugar cookie with a big bite out of it, and uh, she just wanted to give me something, and that was kind of special. I kept it for a long time. In St. Stephen for Your Town Tuesday, I'm Joshua Ackerman, WJON News.